New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Hashtag Hola Como Estas. Hola Como Estas, Yankees fans. New York Yankees fans, Aaron Judge. Like I said originally on my channel about over two weeks ago when I was making those uh, Max Scherzer and Harper videos, I said Aaron Judge will be out for six to eight weeks. I mean, it's common sense when you fracture a bone in your wrist or any part of your body that is going to take longer than two weeks to heal two to four weeks whatever time frame they had for judge that's not even logical so aaron judge recently as of now told a reporter that he still feels sore and he can't even swing a bat maybe he'll start throwing soon so what this means is aaron judge is going to be out for six weeks six to eight weeks so the question now is, do the Yankees obtain another bat to add to their lineup, to add to this team while Judge is out, while Gary Sanchez is out? Obviously, I've been saying this for the longest time. Do they acquire an all-star caliber bat? In my opinion, they should. In my opinion, like I said, they should go for the jugular. How that works is other teams have a shot in obtaining these players placed on the waiver wire. Obviously, they're going to be players that are owed millions of dollars. But luckily for the Yankees, there's about maybe four outfielders or four players that, let's say if they do get put on the waiver wire, one of these teams in contention, they're going to pick them up. It's not like one team is going to pick up all these players. So luckily for the Yankees, if these players like Donaldson, like McCutcheon, like uh, Harper, etc. are put on the waiver wire, one of these teams are going to pick one of those players up and it's going to be enough for the Yankees to obtain one of these players, these all-star caliber players. Not a Shane Robinson, I'm talking about all-star caliber. It's going to be enough. The wealth is going to be spread out enough that the Yankees are going to be able to obtain one of these names. So let's say Donaldson lands on the Dodgers or Cubs or Red Sox, whatever. Okay, he's off the trade market. McCutcheon, what if he lands on one of these other teams in contention? He's off the trade market. Harper, what if Harper is available and all these teams are done making moves? This is what I'm saying. There's going to be enough players out there of all-star caliber talent that the Yankees are easily going to be able to obtain one of these players. Also, after I uploaded my video yesterday, one of the MLB Network guys made the suggestion that um, Do Josh Donaldson is coming back and obviously the Toronto Blue Jays are going to put him out there on the trade market. And another thing to mention, John Heyman on his website of FanCred wrote an article suggesting that the Yankees should flip Gary Sanchez for Riamuto. Obviously, they can't flip both of them this year, but maybe in the offseason. Obviously, I suggest that first, but it goes to show that things that are said on m1news.com and on this channel, it makes the rounds. People at first say it's crazy. Oh my God, what are you thinking? But then people start to come around to the idea. What I'm trying to say is new ideas are presented on m1news.com and on this channel. And when I say that the Yankees want to flip Gary Sanchez for real Mutu, there is some concern in the Yankees front office if Gary Sanchez can be a catcher long term. And there is a possibility that they are going to flip Gary Sanchez for Rio Mutu. Obviously, Gary Sanchez is a great bat, but can he catch at the catcher position for the rest of his career? I don't think so. So people get mad when Gary Sanchez's name is brought up. I'm not bringing it up for this season. I'm talking about next season. Let's see what he does this season. Let's hope that Gary Sanchez rebounds and really contributes to this team. And mentioning players that have short leashes as well, Greg Bird, who is batting about 212. I don't got the exact uh, average in front of me, but I think it's 212. The Yankees keep expecting Greg Bird to contribute or stay consistent. He has not. So adding another bat comes into play. So obviously with that new information about Aaron Judge expect the Yankees to make that move man make that move 
The Yankees, as of now, they're gaining ground on the Red Sox. Their schedule is going to be easy. Their schedule is going to help them gain ground on those pesky Red Sox. Also, there were a few comments on my previous video. Well, what are you talking about? All these trades, these uh, players. Well, guess what? With the news of Aaron Judge, how does that video look now? People talk too soon. You can't think things are going smoothly because the Yankees are winning. They're on a win streak. You got to think long term. You got to think about when they face these hard teams that are going to be in the playoffs. You got to think about these surging teams like the A's, like the Mariners, etc. All these little pesky teams. You got to think long term. So honestly, if Bryce Harper is put on the market waiver wire, you could expect a team like the Oakland Athletics to pick him up. I'm calling it as of now. If Harper's put on the market as trade bait on the wire, expect the Oakland Athletics to bite first. He might not be put on there, but you'll expect a team like the A's to keep making moves. So expect the Yankees to make a move for a bat. It's inevitable. They need to make another move to add an impact bat in this lineup. So Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from News.com. Hashtag Ola Como Estas. Like usual, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Aaron Judge is, is about to be out for six to eight weeks. The minimum is going to be six, but it's logical. You cannot return from an injury like that and expect not to feel pain. Let it heal first, or the Yankees are going to pull another Gary Sanchez where he's coming off the DL too soon, and then he re-injures himself. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NewsCom Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.